All right, everybody. This is uh, JMPL GT4. Uh, um, this is my first YouTube post, and I'm I'm going to be covering today uh, Texas A&M Aggies 2009 season. Uh, my predictions, what I think they're going to do, and uh, it's kind of a short little sort of video post response to Cowboy TD. Um, all right, here we go. Um, we already played against uh, University of New Mexico. Um, the uh, experts predicted that A&M would win that game 42 to 24. Well, in fact, we ended up winning 42 to 6. Uh, held them. They didn't score one touchdown. Both of the six points, uh, you know, that was both both made off field goals. A&M had 606 yards of total offense. Um, they both played pretty good defense. Von Miller had three sacks on the day, and uh, we were in the backfield a lot, wreaking a lot of havoc. Um, I say the big key throughout the entire season is uh, A&M has to be sure to stay healthy throughout the season. Uh, Alright, on to our next game, Utah State. Um, the experts have A&M winning that one 41-23. to I say that that's a pretty good prediction. We might uh, pull that one off a little bit more than that, and they might not score as much. Um, but I give A&M the win on that game. Um, the game after that, we got UAB, University of Alabama, Birmingham. Uh, experts have A&M winning that one 38-24. to um, Same with Utah State. I say we win that one as well. Uh, we might win. We might win by more than that, though. I'm, I'm thinking we, we'll probably win more than by more than that. Um, on to our next game, the Dallas New Cowboys Stadium, Arkansas. Um, I say we win that game. Um, it's a close call. The experts have Arkansas winning by uh, eight points, score 35-27. I say we. Um, I say we win that game. Um, I think, you know, these predictions, uh, the expert predictions were loosely um, made off of an old A&M team that obviously isn't here. Uh, after, after you watch the New Mexico game, you can tell that it's not the same team from last year or the last few years for that matter. Um, I say we win that game. Uh, also to help us out in that, it's a neutral site, so we should uh, not be affected by any of their fans, uh, well, a good portion of their fans who are playing solely at their house. Um, and another thing that's in our favor is that the week before they play us, uh, they play Alabama. So hopefully uh, hopefully they, they, they can recuperate from, from that, uh, that game. I'm pretty sure they'll end up losing that game. And uh, Bama's got a pretty good defense this year, so I'm... Uh, who knows, they might come away with a few injuries. I don't, I don't wish that on anybody, but who knows, it might just happen. So um, they might be a little bit thin uh, in, in, in depth whenever they come to play us. Um, on to our next game, we got OK State. Um, the experts have OK State winning 44-31. I'm going to say that's a pretty good uh, prediction. Uh, I... I I think we probably lose that game, as much as I hate to say that. Uh, OK State's got a damn good team. Even though they did lose yesterday to U of H, that, excuse me, that kind of just comes to show you that uh, you never know what can happen whenever you have a high-powered offense like uh, U of H has going up against a team like OK State. It might end up benefiting uh, the high-powered offense to win that game if they can stop them uh, from scoring points. Okay, on to our next game. Um, we have Kansas State. Predictions, uh, expert prediction. A&M to win that one, 35-24. Uh, I think we win by more than that. Um, K-State actually lost last night to University of Louisiana Lafayette. Who loses to those guys? Uh, with that being said, I watched a little bit of that game. I wasn't impressed. I say A&M wins that game when they come, uh, whenever we play Kansas State. Um, okay, now on to Tech, Texas Tech. Um, Tech, the experts have Tech winning over A&M 45-27. I'm not so sure this is the case. Um, Taylor Potts, I don't know that I'm that impressed with him from what I've seen and highlights and stuff like that so far. Um, he's got big shoes to fill with Graham Harrell, and um, I just don't think it's the same sort of offense that Mike Leach has brought the last few years. Um, 
They played North Dakota two weeks ago, 138 to 13. That's pretty crappy, especially for a Texas Tech team. And then yesterday they had a little bit more of what would resemble a Tech offense uh, and and score. They beat Rice 55 to 10. Although you got to take into consideration they're playing North Dakota and Rice. Um, they probably should have blown them out by more than that. I, I'm going to say. Uh, so I think that. I think that we probably are going to win that game uh, due to those those facts, and also um, before they come play us, they play against Nebraska, which we all know how Nebraska is doing this year. It's doing very well. Uh, Bo, Bo Pelini is doing very good up there, and uh, I say that Tech will probably lose that game, and you know maybe maybe we'll have a better shot at them uh, in Lubbock whenever we go play. So I give a and a win on that one. Uh, next game we got Iowa State. The prediction on that one, A&M 48, Iowa State 31. I don't need to say any more than that. A&M should win that game, hands down. Uh, on to Colorado. Um, the expert actually has Colorado winning over A&M 27-21. Uh, to 21. Not a very big spread. I'm going to say that a and going to win that game, and probably by a considerable amount, considering the fact that Colorado uh, to start up the season is 0-2. Um, they lost to Colorado State last week, uh, barely, and then they got blown out yesterday by Toledo. Toledo was ranked probably, I, I, I want to say, uh, if I remember right, in the top 120 preseason rankings, Toledo was ranked around 100 or so, and Colorado was ranked around 40. So for a team... Uh, that big of a difference part should not have had a blowout. You know, it might have been a upset, but not a blowout. And Toledo ended up beating Colorado yesterday by like nearly 20 points or so. Um, so I give a and a win on that one. Uh, next game, OU. I'm going to say this was a toss-up. People might say that I'm crazy for this, but um, I'm going to say it's a toss-up, but I think we're probably going to lose this game. Uh, the offensive line, I know there was a Sooner fan, I don't remember his name, posted the video in uh, response to Cowboy TV, uh, his predictions, but uh, he, he was talking about how good of an O-line they'll probably have. I'm going to have to disagree. I'm not bashing the Sooners right now. Uh, they're my second favorite team in the Big 12. Uh, I just didn't see that type of O-line in the first game. Maybe yesterday they had a 64-0 win. Uh, although they weren't playing anybody. Um, I will say that their O-line needs to improve and protect Bradford whenever he comes back, because if not, three to four weeks, I don't remember which, they're coming to play Texas, and Texas will be gunning for Bradford's neck. They're going to be trying to come at him and take him out of the game once again. So uh, if Bradford is even back by then, if he doesn't get hurt again, I say that uh, it's probably a toss-up, but more than likely A&M will lose that game. The uh, expert prediction on that game is 51, Oklahoma, A&M 27. Uh, on to our next game, we got Baylor. I say we win that game. I know that uh, Baylor has improved a lot. I'm not trying to bash Baylor, but I think we win that game. Um, we're playing at Kyle Field, number one. Uh, the expert prediction is 30-27 A&M. I think we've got the better team. I think we were underrated starting out the season, and I think that's what this uh, expert prediction is loosely based off of. So I'm going to say that we're probably a better team than 30 points against Baylor, and uh, we should we should beat them by a considerable amount, especially at Kyle Field. Um, on to our next uh, game, probably the biggest game of the season. we got Texas playing at Kyle Field. Uh, Colt McCoy, I'm just really not too impressed by him. I think that, you know, he's probably a little overrated as a quarterback, probably. Uh, he seems to be better than he is just because they've had some pretty good teams down there in Austin the last few years. Uh, I'm not impressed with their gameplay the last uh, two games. They beat uh, Louisiana Monroe 59-20 and 41-10 against Wyoming yesterday. I'd say that that's kind of a crummy, especially for a Texas team. they got to have a slow start both games. If that happens against A&M, anything could happen. Um... A&M has a good chance to win. Uh, with that being said, I think A&M is going to go 9-3, possibly 10-2, 11-1 if they can beat Oklahoma or Texas. Uh, that's all i got for now. Good luck to Big 12. 
uh, Farmer's Fight, Bleed Moon Forever, and Giga Maggie's.